Anybody here? Hello? Three o'clock in the morning. Business center rates for service. Services. Okay. So I should be quiet. Nice mirror. This is hot. I was expecting cold. <laughs> How the hell they make it hot? It's sealed. What's up guys, we're finally here. What a freaking one hour trip turned in. Seems like it's a 10 hour trip. We passed out in the car, but we're finally checked in. The hotel has definitely gotten old. I don't remember it being this old seven years ago. Definitely had a different hotel in mind, but we got upgraded, so that's good. So there we go. So as you walk in, there we go, luggage area right here. Plenty of storage. We're on 20th floor. You got a shower, no tub. Stand up shower. Let's do, let's do the test. Man, that's old door. Do the test. And clearly, this is good. Yep. What I like about this, you got a view looking out from here, and you can put the shades down, to give you more privacy. Nice size bathroom. Really clean. This is this is an upgraded room, believe it or not. Upgraded room. Two beds. Look at this V, baby. The Patron Towers are on the other side. When you open the door, it's right in your face. Long table here. Nice mirror. TV is a bit on the smaller side, but hey, at least it's out of the way. Apparently somebody hung their clothes on TV. Do not hung your clothes on TV, people. Not a good idea. All right, let's bring the fam in. Go. go. Okay, good. Go. Yeah, let go. Okay, okay. No matter what, matter what, good girl. She's taking her shoes off. Yes. Good job, Marwa. Maria, I'm sorry, Maria. I've had a long day. Feels like I've been flying for 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Marwa taking her shoes off. Good job. Uh, watch your toes, Marwa. Watch your toes. Watch your toes. My toes. Your toes, okay. Watch your toes. There. She's tired. Kids edition. What do you guys think? Train, train. Maroka, train. See though, don't cry. Oh, don't cry, don't cry, princess. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you happy? All right. So we are on the tenth floor of the Double Tree. Uh, we have the swimming pool here. We got the gym here. Uh, by the way, rocking my Universal Studios Singapore VIP experience. If you have not seen that video, definitely go check it out in the end uh, of this video. Awesome experience. All right, let me show you the gym here. Overall, you know, from a double tree, it is a, you know, pretty good sized gym. Not too small, not too big. You got plenty of towels there. You got a water station right here to fill up on. Everything seems to, seems to be pretty sanitized and clean. There are definitely older equipment. On um, some of them, you can see wear and tear on the leather. But from a hardware perspective, it's definitely in there. It is definitely not bad. You got plenty of weights over here to look like Superman. And I know you can't see it right now, but other side of those glasses are the swimming pool. You might be able to get a sneak peek in here. All right, now let's go check out the swimming pool at night time. All right, that's the gym right there. As you can see, I'm at the pool area now. Of course, it's closed because it's like three o'clock in the morning. So this is the outside view of the gym. And it looks like there's an entrance for bathrooms here. Swimming pool, that's a very good size actually. And I know you can't, you probably can't see much, it's dark, I'm so sorry. And those, those towers over there where you see the two lights, that's the, uh, Twin Patron Towers, famous in KL, Kuala Lumpur. And that's, so we're on 10th floor, that's the 11th floor right here. So that's where breakfast is, um, a breakfast, buffet, uh, uh, dinner. So that's where we have a reservation for dinner tonight. We tried to go yesterday, but it was booked. It was a madhouse. And as you can see, this one is 34 story building. I like it, really nice. And I like the fact that you can see the swimming pool uh, when you're sitting down for breakfast. 
a lot of a lot of hotels, in my opinion, you do you do not get to see the swimming pool while you're eating lunch or dinner, whatever the case might be. This one, definitely, you have the perfect view. The rest of them are just meeting rooms, grand ballroom, pretty big space. All right. Oh, they got a business center. I want to check that out because I might get some work done. Anybody here? Hello? Three o'clock in the morning. Business center rates for service services. Okay, it's actually pretty quiet. You might be able to get some work in here. All right, let me turn around, show you this awesome, incredible business center. There we go. You got two stations next to each other. No privacy. Uh, by far, my favorite stay for business center has been the Conrad in Singapore. If you've not seen it, check out that video in the end uh, for their preview of that. All right, let's go up to eat breakfast. I know what you're thinking. Who the heck eats breakfast three o'clock in the morning? Well, today we got two more days of fasting left. So that's right, two more days of fasting left. And after that, it'll be three days of celebration. Eid, as we call it, E-I-D, AKA Christmas for our Muslims. All right, so we got about 2.46 or 2.50. Starts at 3 a.m. So let me turn the video around, show you this. I love the decorations. Anytime you go to Malaysia or any, you know, um, Muslim country, uh, they do decorations for Eid. Makan Kitchen. So we're you know, a couple days away from it. You can see they already got the decorations going. So the color of the year this year in Singapore, we've noticed is the green and yellow. So you're going to see that in a lot of places. This place for dinner was booming. I mean, literally, it was insanely busy. They had a DJ going. You'll see that here. Hopefully I can show you guys uh, that later on tonight. I mean, they literally had a DJ going, breaking their fast. I was like, dang, that's how they do it in Malaysia. They don't play around. So yesterday was a long day, even though it was an hour travel, even like less than that, half an hour air flight flight time it seemed like we were on the road for so long lesson learned for me don't book early morning flights my kids don't like it wife was not happy I was frustrated um, didn't sleep the night before so I was freaking exhausted so lesson learned don't book morning flights uh, another thing that me and the wife we had agreed on that we've been doing is um, anytime we go to a new place we and when we go out the first day we do not take the camera with us. So that way we're focused on the kids, focused on the family only. So we had a chance to go out last night, Twin, uh, Twin Towers. Here we went to the mall uh, below it. Uh, so no camera, nothing, just us and our, you know, and our uh, awesome stroller. So that's something that we have done. We did it in Singapore, we did it in Turkey, and we did it in Malaysia. So I definitely like it. It gives us, this, it gives us time to disconnect from the, uh, uh, you know, bid from YouTube world, but also focus on the family. And focus on the kids so so if you don't see a lot of content right when we get to a new country or any major follow-ups you kind of you know have some color now but with that said uh, I'm actually pretty full I've had two and a half uh, three three uh, double quarter pounders from McDonald's today <laughs> that's how I broke my fast with and then again so but I know, I know the soup here is amazing so it is well worth it so I'm excited Breakfast in Malaysia is awesome. Reminds me of Turkish breakfast. They don't play around. Another thing that I've learned so far is don't go to a place with high expectations because you went there 10 years ago. Um, you know, we did that in Turkey with the Armutlu uh, village. There's a video on that. Definitely check it out. It's the cheapest hotel we've stayed in. Cheapest two-bedroom hotel we stayed in for 20 bucks. Um, 
and has a full-blown kitchen with an amazing view. But it's just old, it was just old, right? Same thing here, Double Tree KL, we stay here in 2015. And funny enough, our bedroom, our room number is 2015. Yeah, talk about that. But it's just old, like everything is just falling apart. Their the elevators is just dirty, like there's black marks all over the place. Uh, two of the pillows that we had were dirty, we had to get it, we had to get it renewed. And then uh, when I called in, the lady showed up, she's like, let me see the pillows, I wanna see the dirty. I'm like, my kids are sleeping. Who, who, like just giving them freaking pillows. Lesson learned, that's the second lesson learned I learned today. Don't book something that you stayed, in, you stayed at five years ago, 10 years ago and expecting equal or better expectations. All right, so let's see when this breakfast is gonna be ready. I realize I have like two minutes left on my freaking memory card. So I'm trying to make this uh, quick. There we go. So you got all the typical salad bar here. You got chicken and beef. Uh, uh, meat, cheese, crackers, you got fruits, my favorite is the yellow watermelon. You got your typical uh, red and you also have a yellow watermelon. This and Singapore are the only two countries I've been able to find it. Cereal, those are your yogurts right there. And my favorite is the where you can make a plate right here and give it to the guy with whatever you want and then you put whatever chili sauce you have on it. And you got chicken uh, stew, and then you have a seafood stew in the back. Half boiled eggs, pancakes, waffles, omelets. All right, I gotta make a quick to the other side. Minute, 20 seconds. For morning breakfast, so this is light breakfast. For morning breakfast, this is the Indian kitchen. You'll, you'll have Indian food right here. So you have Indian, Malay and Chinese food here. So you have all three. This is light breakfast. You got your potato wedge, french fries, chicken and beef sausages. You got your soup. You got your beans. There you go. You got, this is your Indian side of the food. Cucumber looks good. You got eggs. You got all kinds of a chili paste. Sauces here. Rice, noodles, waffles, pancakes, jam, peanut butter, cheese, donuts, all kind of a uh, jam sauce, bread, you got drinks that you can get here. So this is literally half of the kitchen uh, that you've seen here. I forgot the pastries and butter croissants there. Half of the kitchen, this is light breakfast. Morning will be full breakfast. Sido, Sido say hi. Say hi, where are you going? Hi Sido. Hi Sido. Hello, I'm on the channel. Kick, 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 kick. Wait, 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 wait. Kick, 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 kick. Sido kick. We got bubbles. Okay, you want bubbles? I don't want bubbles. You don't want bubbles? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi.
Oh, no, Aleo. No eat. Ten minutes. No. Ten minutes. So Maru was fasting today, her second day, and today Maniam fasting. Maru and Maniam fasting. They act by new joy, yeah. Yeah, me too. Maru, are you fasting today? Yeah. How was it? Hungry? Hungry? She's having Malaysian noodles. I'll buy you toy for bunny. Goes in now. Good job, Mayam. Mayam, first day fasting. First day fasting. We're two tortoises. We're sitting on the Chinese side of the restaurant. Hey guys, so we're at the executive lounge on the 34th floor. Let me show you what it looks like. Uh, you got everything here is self-serve, which is kind of interesting because I've never had an executive lounge that's a self-serve. This is first for uh, for me. But yeah, so you literally have to get your own crap. And this is my trash actually. Yeah, this is my trash. So this is coffee. You have to make your own coffees and teas. Let me close that. Self-serve over there. You got water orange juice a couple of cookie cream right here and the best thing you have going on here is the uh, view let me see there we go so this is the view of the 34th floor the ta twin towers it's raining so i'm trying to get my camera wet but yeah this is the smokers area overall this is a pretty bad executive lounge so probably the uh, worst lounge i've been to uh, the hours are funky too the hours are um, 3 p.m 3 or 2 p.m till uh, eight o'clock uh, even though on the door it says 10 o'clock it's eight o'clock they wrap up at eight uh, they have happy hours of 5 30 to 7 30 and that's it so no food just a couple chips get your own drinks shut up don't ask questions there's literally nobody here uh, to you know serve you anything anything like that and I've been to plenty of executive lounges that is not the case all right let's go back in this is the views from inside this is our view from our hotel room. The views are probably the best thing about the executive lounge. So there you go. Views is a business center is here as well, which is kind of weird. I haven't seen that business executive lounge. Business center and executive lounge. So that's a first for us. And you guys know this gang right here. What you eating, Sido? Hi. What you eating, Mariam? Hot. Hot. Oh. Hot chips. Hot chips? Because yeah. hot chips? Who is good girl today? Me. Who has money? Me. Who's broke? Me. Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Baba broke. I'm uh, You broke too? The clouds are below the mountain over there. So I can zoom in. There you go. I wanted to show you the shopping area of the hotel so you can see what this place looks like. So with that said, I am currently one level below the um, uh, lobby. Uh, we're the same level as the McDonald's, so I'm gonna show you around and go from there.
for the price, it's actually very cheap. I think right now it's about 55, 60 bucks, maybe less uh, per night, which is pretty cheap. Just to give you an idea, best rated Hilton that we're going to, it is 100 bucks a night. So you're talking about double the price. So what do you really get at Hilton for double the price? I guess we'll find out when we get there. Uh, but this one's not about an option. The other thing that just crossed my mind, you know, you know, me and my wife were talking about it last night. We noticed that in Singapore, and we noticed it here, but a lot of people here are locals. Like this hotel is sold out for the next week, maybe even two weeks. But a lot of locals are here at the hotel. Like we're one of the very few foreigners that are not from Malaysia. It was the same thing in Singapore. Uh, when I was talking to Barry, the Hilton manager at Singapore, he was like, it's so good to be able to talk to someone that speaks really good English, that's a foreigner, just learn from it. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a normal thing here that you leave your house and come spend the night, a couple days, a week, whatever, at the hotel in KL. I know historically uh, in Istanbul, when the Eid happens or big holiday happens, people leave Istanbul to go to their hometown or village towns. Uh, and Istanbul is like ghost town. Over here, it's like, I feel like it's the opposite. People from the village or surrounding areas come here, spend, uh, spend a week here and go back home. But that's something that we, you know, we've noticed in both of the countries. So maybe if you know some, something about it, you can comment, but that's, that's new to us. We, we've not had that, uh, we've not had that um, experience before uh, in, in other countries. Yeah, Malaysia is not that cheap. I think the only thing so far is cheap is real estate. Uh, and I guess coming from Singapore, everything is cheap, but I'm comparing it to like Atlanta pricing and, and really Turkey pricing. Uh, Turkey is cheap. Yeah, Turkey is definitely cheap. So um, even the Airbnb we're staying at, where we're staying for uh, five weeks, it, it cost us uh, uh, 2,000. Yeah, 2,000, 2,100 maybe, give or take. Um, so not bad. I mean, it's the same pricing as Turkey. From a real estate perspective but the good coffee and stuff like that here is a lot more expensive in turkey coffee would cost worst 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 case scenario a dollar and in, in plenty of places you can find it for about 50 cents to even 25 25 cents so the fact that coffee costs here three dollars you know and real estate price the same thing as turkey just tells you how expensive food is here thank you this is hot. I was expecting cold. <laughs> How the hell did they make it hot? It's sealed. I should say cold iced coffee tea. Other ones left me cold. Damn, this 30% sugar? It was like 500%. All right, guys, that's it. Another hotel experience coming to you from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia at Doubletree. I hope you liked it. I hope you're doing well. And now we're getting ready to pack up and head over to Hilton, Kuala Lumpur. Let's see, let you see how that looks like. Thanks so much.